Hey guys, I'm Jerks Von here, and today we're going to talk about something a little bit different than what we normally talk about on this channel. So, with Dominaria on the horizon, it's coming in pretty fast. About the middle end of this month, it'll be out. Um, I'm really excited for the cards. Um, I might do some kind of spoiler video when there's more cards actually spoiled, like the art. I know there's all kinds of cards that tell you what they do, and I just... I mean, you guys can see those yourself. I, I really like showcasing the art with the card. It makes it a little more fun for me. But anyways, that's not what I'm going to talk about. So you guys know how I love Commander. And Commander is pretty much the only thing that I play, right? Well, I actually... Secrets on the down low. I'm building a standard deck right now. And um, I'll probably be doing some kind of deck tech with that at some point. I also have another Commander deck that I built. And I might do a couple Brawl deck techs because this is what this video is about, is Brawl. So Brawl is a new format. It's very much like Commander, except it's standard legal cards, and they follow the same banned and restricted list as standard. So before we get into anything, I'm going to tell you what those cards are. So the cards, this was revised January 19th, 2018, that are banned in standard right now are Aetherworks Marvel, Smuggler's Copter, Felidar Guardian, Attune with Aether, Rogue Refiner, Rampaging Frostodon, and Ramanap Ruins. That, uh, that Ramanap Ruins deck took quite the hit with that banning. Um, but that's not what we're going to talk about. So, Brawl. Brawl is just like Commander, except instead of starting with 40 life, you start with 30. And you can also only use standard legal cards. So it's a 60 card deck around a legendary creature or planeswalker, because the new planeswalkers are legendary. Um, you can only have one copy of any given card in your deck other than basic lands. Obviously it's just the same rules as commander. Um, the mana symbols that appear on your commanders dictate what cards may be in your deck. Mana, sim mana symbols that don't appear on your commander can't be in the deck. So to throw an example out there, the new guy that um, from Dominaria that's coming out, He's a 4-drop for a red, white, and blue, and a colorless. You can pay uh, red, white, black, blue, and green instead of paying spells mana costs. He would be a 5-color Brawl deck, because he has all 5 mana symbols on his card. But Firesong and Sunspeaker are red and white, so you can only have red and white. So the, the mana symbols include... Um, and then Light Commander... Your legendary creature or planeswalker starts in the command zone and works the same way as in commander. So basically what happens is it starts off in the command zone and you may play it for its mana cost and then you put it into the battlefield. When it dies, you can either put it into the graveyard or you can put it back into the command zone. And then it gets what, what my playgroup calls a command counter. So for each command counter on your commander in the command zone, it costs two more colorless to cast. So I'm gonna go back to Fire Song and Sunspeaker because I really love the art on this card. It costs six, right? So the first time it dies, it will cost eight. The second time it dies, it'll cost 10, and so on and so forth. So it just adds two to its mana cost every time it dies. So there's a lot of really, really good legendary creatures in this set. So to give a few examples, we have Azor the Lawbringer a 6646 with flying when it enters a battlefield each opponent can cast instant or sorcery spells during that uh, each opponent can't cast instant or sorcery spells during that player's next turn and whenever it attacks you can pay x a white and two blue if you do you gain x life and draw x cards that's pretty solid right so like i was saying um it's really good it's a really really solid card um, and the next one we have is Brawl Chief of Compliance. It's a 1-3 for 2. Instance and sorcery spells you cast cost 1 less to cast. Whenever a spell or ability you control counters a spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. I think that's pretty good. And then we have uh, Saram Senior Edifacer. He's a 2-2 two, two for 2. Whenever you cast an aura, equipment, or vehicle spell, draw a card. Now, there's a lot of vehicles and there's a lot of equipment. And uh, 
<clears throat> there's one enchantment in particular, or one aura in particular called Conviction. You can pay a white and return it to your hand, and then you can just keep playing it again and drawing cards and drawing cards, and it's really, really good, and he's very strong. And then we have uh, Jasath, Sun's Avatar. It's a 7-6 for 8 with Trample, Vigilance, and Haste. When it deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library and put any dinosaurs from among them into the battlefield and put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. So, really good. I mean, especially with all the dinosaurs that have come out in Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan. Makes a very, very solid deck. And the last one I'm going to go over is uh, something from the new set, uh, Dominaria. It's uh, Danatha, uh, Cashpin Paragon. It is a 2-2 for 3 with First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink. Ores and equipment spells you cast cause one less to cast. A 2-2 two, two for 3 with First Strike, Vigilance, and Lifelink is really, really good on its own. And the fact that it makes your aura and equipment spells cause one less is really good. This could be a really, really good commander, and it could be a really, really good brawl commander. So, that is that is basically what brawl is. Uh, it's just a singleton format, but instead of having 100 cards and 40 life, you have 60 cards and 30 life. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video. Be on the lookout for some Brawl deck techs, maybe from the commanders in this set, because this set has come with a lot of legendary creatures, and I am super excited. Uh, and I'm also going to be doing a standard deck tech in the next couple weeks, probably. Um, anyways, yeah. Thank you, guys.